Hi, and welcome to the first of our monthly wine roundups. The sun seems to have finally found its hat in the last few weeks of August, so we've put together four wines that will work brilliantly for an Indian summer day, or just as well in autumn. The first finds us with both feet still in the paddling pool, or preferably on a cheeky late summer break to the south of France. Yes, we're in Côte de Provence. Côte de Provence is a pale, dry rosé that acts more like a white than a pink. Because it's dry, it's super refreshing, but has a delicate sort of raspberry fruitiness which just softens it and takes the edge off. We think it's perfect for a sophisticated lunch outside when you want to drink something delicious but the conversation and hopefully the view are more important. This particular one is Chateau Liobi, which you mostly find in wine shops or restaurants. If you like the idea, you could also try Mirabeau, which you can find in Waitrose, or if you like the idea of a sparkly one, try a Samoa Rosé. Um, wine Society do a really good one. If you really do not like the rosé, then try Dry Muscat, which has that similar kind of fruity aromaticness and dry edge. Check the blog or text below the video to get info on where to buy the wines that we're mentioning. The next wine has definitely got one or even both feet in the autumn camp. I love the switch of season to autumn, particularly because it's the moment to get some bigger, richer whites out after all those crisp, refreshing summer whites. So this is Chenin Blanc, but a very specific style that plays on the richer notes that you can find in it like roasted peaches and honey. It's barrel aged which gives it a smooth texture. Think more cashmere than wool. So it's the kind of wine to drink after a brisk walk in the autumn sunshine when it's bright but nippy. Yes that's right, sunglass and scarf weather. And make sure the chicken's in the oven as well. This is FMC and it's one of the best versions you'll find of this rich style of Chenin. It's made by the legendary Ken Forrester in South Africa. It's a sipper though and doesn't come cheap, so if you're looking for something a bit similar, you could try something like Cornelia from Marks and Spencer's, which is also delicious, or a dry Vouvre. And if you like the idea of that peachy honey flavour, then maybe um, Yolumba's Viognier from Australia would also be delicious. Okay, on to the reds. If you've ever been to Italy, you'll know that it's impossible to get around without gorging yourself on delicious treats. Their wines mostly need something tasty to go with them too. Italian reds have been a bit out of fashion recently, in place of the heavier, fruitier, juicier New World styles. But wines like this Chianti are complete classics. The genius is the balance of intense cherry with a tang of acidity, and a gum-tingling firmness, which means they can stand up to any food you throw at them, from cold meats to bolognese. Yes, and fava beans, as Hannibal Lecter would say. We picked this Castellari wine partly for its gorgeous label, but also because they make stunning wines in traditional styles. Again, this is more likely to be found in wine shops, but if you like the idea and can't find this, you could have a look for something a bit cheaper and easier. So you could go for um, something like Morin's, Morrison's Signature Chianti, which is great value in the same vein. Or some th another Italian red like Valpolicella Rapasso or Barbera, which also have that lovely tangy dark cherry flavour. Dark cherry flavour. Uh, Co-op do a great Valpolicella Rapasso and Marks and Spencer's do a lovely Barbera. For our final September wine, we're moving on to the bubbles but no ordinary ones at that. Red fizz is still a bit of an anomaly over here. You find it a lot more in Australia, France and Italy. But it's brilliant for late summer, right through to winter. It's more of a Marmite wine than the others here. Not everyone can get their heads around the red flavour and the bubbles at the same time. But you need to remember it's not as heavy as most red wines and you drink it chilled so it feels a bit lighter. I was drinking some with my mum the other day and she said she thought it was a good red wine for white wine drinkers. So this is a sparkling Shiraz from Australia and it has gorgeous sweet blueberry flavour along with a serious grind of black pepper. It's brilliant with barbecued or child grilled flavours and adds a definite shizzle to your party. Magello who make this are out in the Kunawara in southeast Australia 
and it's probably safe to say that they'll be drinking this with their turkey on Christmas Day, which is pretty traditional over there. There are a couple of different styles of red fizz. This is sparkling Shiraz, as I said, and you get Shiraz and Cabernet mostly from Australia. They're the most full-on style. But you can also get sp sweet sparkling reds like Lambrusco, and I'm not talking the cheesy disco type. It's semi-sparkling and a bit sweeter and lighter, but also great for barbecues and parties. So that's our September write-up. If you want to get in touch, we're WineTube Map on pretty much everything, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, details of all the wines that we mentioned can be found on our site, uh, winetubemap.co.uk, where you can also sign up for our weekly wine roundup email. Happy drinking!